Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, I'm Xiaoli Wanru. Today we are going to talk about labor supply as from Varian 9.8. So assume that if you don't work, you have M dollars. Let's say this M dollars is given by your parents. And there are two things you like. One is consumption and the other one is leisure. Now, suppose we only consume cheese and the price of cheese is T dollars per unit. I also assume that at the end of the day, you choose to consume C units of cheese. And you also like leisure. So what is the value of leisure? You can think about this. Um, the value of leisure per hour is actually your wage rate. Why is that? If you work for, say, Starbucks and they pay you $15 per hour, then for each hour you spend on leisure, that means you cannot work meaning you will have to give up that $15 per hour. So we can see the opportunity cost of leisure is actually exactly your wage rate. Now assume that it's W dollars per hour. Now let's also assume that at the end of the day, you choose to spend R hours on leisure and R stands for recreation. So keep in mind that at the end of the day, you choose to consume C units of cheese and you also choose to spend R hours on leisure per day. Now, assuming that the maximum number of hours you can spend on either work or leisure will be R bar hours. You can think of R bar as 16 hours because even though you have 24 hours, you need to sleep, you need to brush your teeth. So the maximum amount of time you can spend on either leisure or work will be R bar hours. Now, R bar is equal to R, that's the number of hours you spend on leisure, plus L, that's the number of hours you spend on work. So, R plus L is equal to R bar. Now, let's also assume that C bar is the amount of consumption if you choose not to work. And therefore, C bar is equal to M, that's the money that your parents gave you, divided by P, that's the price of cheese. So C bar will be the amount of cheese you can consume if you choose not to work. Now, you can rewrite M as P times C bar. So we're ready for equation. Remember, at the end of the day, you choose to consume C units of cheese, and you also choose to spend R hours on leisure. So the amount of cheese you consume times the price of cheese, that is the amount of your spending, is equal to M, that's the amount of money that your parents gave you, plus your work money, that will be your wage rate, times the hours you spend on work. So M plus W times L, that will be equal to P times C. Notice that I can rewrite M as P times C bar that comes from here. And I can also rewrite L, that's the number I spend on work. I can rewrite that as the total number of hours I have minus the hours I spend on leisure. So I'm going to rewrite this equation down here. Notice that I didn't change anything. I'm just moving it down. And with some algebraic manipulation, I get this final equation, P times C plus W times R is equal to P times C bar plus W times R bar. So what does that mean? P times C bar is the value of consumption if I choose not to work. And W times R bar is the value of time I have. Remember, R is the total number of hours I have times my wage rate, that is the value of my time. So you can treat C bar and R bar as our endowment. So we are given R bar hours that we can choose to either spend on leisure or work. That's the number of hours we're given. That's an endowment. And C bar is the endowment consumption. Remember, that comes from the money that my parents gave me. And typically, we end up selling some of our time in order to get more consumption. So notice that your final consumption is higher than your um, initial consumption, the consumption you could afford to have if you don't work. 
So we end up selling our time in order to get more consumption. And also notice that um, the number of leisure hours we have is less than 16 hours. Why is that? Because we sell our time to work in order to get more consumption. And in the next video, I'm going to put everything in the diagram. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.